first this year. Scoring from five, master of his domain who won the Maywood pace. Scoring from two, that pair of Colts have hooked up before. Both have brought much credit to the breeding industry in Illinois and they're at it once again. As they're at the post, the gate rolling and here they come. They're off and pacing between horses, Gypsy Minstrel for the lead, but between them now, Master of His Domain scoots out to take command and flying on the outside. There goes Master of His Domain, Holly Hill obvious out with him as that field races into the turn. Getting out third is Sly Speed, dropping back, finding room fourth there, Gypsy Minstrel. Out five is Ideal Town, getting away six, dropping in covered now as they race to the quarter is our true majority. Out seven, Tornado Graham, and at the back, Mystical Bob. Field being led past the quarter mile mark by a length and a half now as they hit the back stretch by Master of His Domain. He heads them toward the half mile mark off a quarter, 27 and 2, and Anderson now has him well under control as they straighten down the backside. He is dictating the pace of this one. Racing uh, to the half mile mark, behind him, second on the inside, Holly Hill, obvious. Content yet to wait, third, slice speed, behind him, fourth down the backside is Gypsy Minstrel. And uh, now to the outside, Gypsy Minstrel, and about to move Ideal Town. He's off the rail and driving, following cover. Here comes Ideal Town. And on the outside, rushing toward the front as they reach the draw gate and takes command now, Gypsy Minstrel, master of his domain, is second. The half was at 57. A, they race into the upper turn off a 29 and 3 second quarter and leading the way by a length and a half as they head toward the three quarter mile mark Gypsy Minstrel behind him Masters Domain catches his, his breath second and positioned right behind him now is Ideal Town for the stretch drive dropping back Holly Hill Obvious still fourth racing five is Sly Speed moving up on the outside six Mystical Bob and off stride momentarily Master of his Domain Anderson has him right back pacing and the battle develops here between horses comes Ideal Town the leader down the lane is Gypsy Minstrel and coming on Ideal Town on the outside Master of His Domain flying but it's Ideal Town getting to the front he's going to win it over Master of His Domain by three home third was Gypsy Minstrel for Mystical Bob it appeared to be Holly Hill obvious picking up the final check fifth 152 and one and they were making it in the final eighth mile This horse was pictured on the cover of the Horseman and Fair World magazine, a national publication this spring, because he won one of the major money races at the Meadowlands in 1999, early in the season. That being the Berries Creek, a race that attracts many of the top two-year-olds from last year who meet certain money-earning standards. And the Illinois-bred ideal town beat them all in that race at the Meadowlands. Today he has won his elimination with a big last eighth and 152 and one of the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes. He is owned by Tim Town, by Matthias Meinzinger of Crystal Lake, Illinois and New York. And today, trainer Terry King put Andy Miller behind this pacer and the results in a smashing 52 and one win. Here he is, Ideal Town, 211,000 coming into the race. Terry King, Andy Miller, Owners Town, and Meinzinger. And this winning pacer, bred by Cottonwood Farm of Big Rock, Illinois. Terry Hunt joins the activities. And now down to Ed Teefee, who has a gentleman ready to speak to us. Ed. Thank you, Carl. With me, one of the up-and-coming drivers in America today, Illinois' own Andy Miller. Andy Miller started right here at the Midwest Illinois County Fairs a few years ago, and now he's one of the leading drivers at all the Chicago Paramutual tracks. He's raced successfully at the Meadowlands, was recently fourth out there in the Breeders' Crown Final with Taser Gun. He's had a big week here this week at the Illinois State Fair with the undefeated Incredible Tilly. 
He won today with Ascot Brandy, and now with a big win with Ideal Town. 152 and one. Here's another nice horse, Andy. He's a great horse. I mean, he has his problems, but he's he can go a bunch. He's real handy and nice horse to drive and really fast. And he's going to have drives in all of the rich finals next week. You won't want to miss it. One of the great drivers in America today, Illinois' own Andy Miller. Thank you, Andy.